Hi there parents, as part of our daily updates with the uh, reopening of school, today I just wanted to remind you about the pickup of your children at the end of the day. This morning was a lot smoother, so Monday the 31st of August, our hawks and our falcons, our red and blue houses are in school. And at gate two, I just wanted to remind you that the children can be dropped off here and they go across to the FS2 entrance for all children that are in FS2 and classes 1A to 1G. At the end of the day, the teachers will bring the children to this gate. Please do not go to any other gate. If you have older siblings, they need to inform us, so I would like you to be at the gate where your youngest child is and is expected to leave from. So gate two, FS2 children and years 1A to 1G classes. If you are collecting your child this evening and you're a private vehicle user, this gate, gate one, is just for children in years three and four. The class teachers will bring the children down. We do need you to socially distance. There are dots on the floor, as there are in the classroom and round by the bus drop-off and pick-up area, that are giving the social distancing two metres apart. So please do respect the regulations that we have to abide with and work with. It's for your safety and your children's safety. So tonight, if you are picking up, gate one for children who are in private vehicles in years three and four. I'm outside gate three. Brilliant drop-off this morning for those parents who use private vehicles to drop their children off in years five and six, year two, and classes 1H to 1M. This evening for the pickup, or this afternoon for the pickup, the teachers will bring the children to this gate. So if your children are in year six, year five, year two, or classes 1H to 1M, the class teacher will bring your children to this gate. One of the things that I must really stress is that if you are running slightly late, you must let the school know because your children will be brought to this area. The area where their macro bubbles that they work in stay safe. What we cannot do is bring children out and then have to take them through a, a different route within school. If you're not here to collect your child or you're running late, we really need to know because we won't bring them down straight away. The weather is still very, very hot. We don't want children waiting outside and we really need you to be punctual with the pickup. I appreciate your support and cooperation again. And just to reiterate, gate three is for children in year six, year five, year two, and classes 1H to 1M. Our buses arrived for the first time today with the children from the Hawks and the Falcon houses being brought into school. The children were brilliant this morning as they came from the buses, dropped off in the bay where I'm stood here now, straight down towards the boys' dining area through the thermal imaging cameras. Tonight, when they, or this evening, this afternoon, when they leave the building, the children who are going home on the buses, which are now getting ready to, uh, to welcome the children, will come down and be bought through the same route. So if they are in FS2 and year one, a to G, they'll come down the macro bubble corridor, along the sports hall corridor, through the dining room and back down this route. If they are in 1H to M in year two, they will come down the corridor and by to the dining area and out along the steps here as well. Children who are in years three and four and five and six will depart and unload the building from the stairwells that they arrived in this morning. We just revert the, the, the way that the children move from going up to just coming down at the end of the day, and they will then make their way across to the buses. The, the children will be brought out in a very regimented style, escorted by their teachers, and we will make sure that we're adhering to all of the health and safety regulations that we have got in place as part of our compliance with the, the ADEC uh, guidelines and policy that we're adhering uh, strictly to. I wish you the very best. I hope you have a lovely evening with your family and I look forward to speaking to you tomorrow.